Go. Hello, this is uh, Mike from the Virginia Saltwater Sport Fishing Association. First, I want to thank all of our supporters on this uh, Minhaden petition. Uh, we got way more signatures than we thought we would. We have 3,156 signatures and supporter supporters from this petition we're sending today to Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross, hoping that they take action against the state of Virginia and bring us into compliance on Minhaden. I keep hearing over and over again, there's no science. Where's your science? We have two facts that are indisputable. First fact, that the Omega fleet has been unable to catch their quota of Minhaden in the bay, despite their trying as hard as they can. They can't do it. So the bay stocks are declining. That's just a known fact. Uh, you can't dispute that. They haven't been able to catch their quota. Fact number two, last year they had to steam all the way to New York to get their overall quota. If there were plenty of Minhaden in Virginia, why do they have to go to New York to catch Minhaden? So one company in the state of Virginia has been traveling, uh, been wiping out the Minhaden in Virginia, in Maryland, in Delaware, in New Jersey, going all the way to New York to catch min their quota of Minhaden. That's just unacceptable to us. So all we've asked, and the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission's asked that, that the bay cap be reduced a small amount uh, and our legislators in Richmond have failed to implement these regulations. So, we have a letter uh, that we in Visa are sending to Secretary of Commerce, uh, and we have, we're attaching all 3,166 names in this letter, page after page of your names uh, that signed our petition in from Virginia. Uh, and we're going to send it to Secretary Ross, all 3,156 names, page after page. Uh, and so the letter reads, if you'll permit me to read it. Dear Secretary Ross, we the people of Virginia are requesting that the federal government take management measures to force Virginia to reset the Minhaden Chesapeake Bay cap uh, on the reduction fishery from 8, 87,000 uh, metric tons to 51,000 metric tons. A little bit of background. In the fall of 2017, over two years ago, the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission voted to reduce the maximum allowable harvest of Minhaden in Chesapeake Bay from 87,000 metric tons to 51,000 metric tons. Uh, the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission is an interstate compact established by federal law uh, to manage fish common among the states in the Atlantic coast. The process calls for the states uh, to implement state regulations once ASMFC members vote on the fishery management quotas. In Virginia, Minhaden is the only fish managed by the delegates in the Virginia General Assembly. Every other saltwater fish is managed by the state agency, Virginia Marine Resource Commission, VMRC. The Virginia General Assembly has failed to implement uh, these reductions during both sessions in 2018 and 2019. Under U.S. law, this is why we're asking Secretary Ross to take measures, the ASFMC has the authority and obligation to notify the U.S. Department of Commerce, which is which NOAA fisheries fall under, uh, that a state is out of compliance with ASFMC guidance. ASFMC has failed in its obligation to escalate this matter and notify your office that Virginia is out of compliance, stating that they are taking, let's wait for Virginia to go over the quarter before we take action. So we the people and 3,000 signatures on here are not willing to wait until Omega officially overfishes in the Chesapeake Bay. We want to take action now and, and, and do go through the process that's established by law, set the regulations to the bay cap. Minhaden stocks are in significant decline in Chesapeake Bay, as evidenced by thousands of anglers who have testified, as well as the reduction fisheries inability to catch even the previous bay cap set. Yet every year, a single foreign owned company removes as many Minhaden as possible from the Chesapeake Bay, resulting in the declining of our ecosystem, and fishery health, Minhaden serve as a, a critical forage for other fish species, both mammals and birds. In addition to the declining Minhaden population in the bay, 
our striped bass uh, that we call rockfish are showing a similar decline because of their primary food source, Menhaden, is simply not there. Virginia desperately needs a reasonable bay cap on the Menhaden catch in the Virginia Bay, especially in light of the vital importance of striped bass, which are also in decline in the bay and the Atlantic coast. The bay is a nursery for Menhaden, so we've got to protect uh, the Menhaden uh, that are in the bay. So, dear Secretary Ross, please take action now to help protect Chesapeake Bay from overharvest of Menhaden. Failure to act will result in further declines in the bay's overall health, while the profits uh, of such overfishing flow to a foreign company. The overall landings of Menhaden continue to decline year after year, so reductions are justified as called for by the Atlantic States and Marine Fisheries Commission in establishing the, the reduced bay cap. The Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission and Virginia have institutionally failed in their management of Menhaden reduction fishery. We the people of Virginia are requesting that, that you uh, notify Virginia that is out of compliance and request the Secretary of Commerce, which is authority over the National Marine Fisheries Service, so you have, we're asking for one of two options. One, you can shut down all fisheries in Virginia uh, of Menhaden until Virginia comes into compliance or establish an emergency rule at the federal level to reduce the bay cap to 51,000 metric tons now. So signed, the people of Virginia, uh, we are putting this letter in the envelope and we're mailing it off today. We hope, Secretary Roth, that you take this seriously. Read the letter and take action now. Thank you.